Hi everyone, it is December 8, 2017, update on the California fires. Grindall61 just posted this video. Let's listen to the mayor of Los Angeles talk about repopulating. Repopulating 150,000 people right here in Los Angeles proper, mega city in the Southern California mega region. Oh, I do want you to listen to this. So, these uh, Santa Ana winds, first of all, I have been getting more comments from people who live in the area saying this is not normal. These, uh, that they're calling this Santa Ana winds. This is not the time for Santa Ana winds, and we don't have these kinds of winds in December in Southern California, sustained high, high winds. 60 mile per hour winds. God, I wish, I wish Americans, those who are choosing willful ignorance, I just so wish that they would grow up, recognize that their behavior is so atrocious, so immoral, and so childlike. I wish that they would just do some research or simply engage in conversation in terms of what is taking place in this country. I'm going to do research tomorrow to find out how many catastrophic events have occurred in areas that are within the mega regions. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I have a lot of videos on my channel. Well, no, not this one. Um, my old one, yes, but I do have some videos about the mega regions, Agenda 2030. You can uh, go to a site called America 2050, and we've got 11 mega regions carving up the United States into mega regions. Outside the mega region, they don't want people living. And yes, they caused these events to occur. For this purpose, this mayor explains it. But listen to what he says about the winds. This is learning much less intensely. Uh, this is still quite an insecure time. We still have winds uh, that through Saturday can pick up uh, with hardly any notice. Uh, these winds can pick up with hardly any notice? Really? Well, it seems that they came out of the blue with no notice based on the com comments that I have received from subscribers who live in SoCal. Embers and hot spots as we see in both of these fires that pre present quite some risk to folks. So that said, we have made decisions about repopulation uh, here, the nearly 150,000 uh, folks who have been inconvenienced, who have moved, who have picked up their lives, their animals, their loved ones. And the good news is that we will be authorizing repopulation of most of the area that has been evacuated here. Bada boom. Repopulation. And it, though he did not say permanent, it did kind of sound like that. He didn't say we're opening shelters for those who are evacuating those areas, did he? He said, no, the good news is we have been authorized to repopulate. My God, it couldn't be any more in our face. So, you know, when you actually know people who live in this area, when you're really concerned about people, and then you come across, you know, comments that Grindall61 also got. Now think about it. Grindall61 is in Southern California. So, when you get kick-ass kitty patriot, patriot who writes, nobody but the libtard crazies who live in Califgay Pornia cares about that state. 
Sodom can burn forever. Wicked, evil state. Whoa! God! That is some twisted, sick mind right there. Doesn't care. At all. So, we have within our awake community very sick, sick people. Clearly, this person doesn't care about anyone. Doesn't care about the people who are posting and have been posting for years. Ortega Blue, Ortega Blue. I lost a lot of most of my subscriptions. So I was really grateful that I got a comment from a subscriber telling me about Ortega Blue. I had subscribed to her, but losing Kafka Winston, well, does it even matter? YouTube feeds are a joke because so many people are not getting notifications or videos within their feed that people have just posted. But Ortega Blue, six to ten miles from the fire. And in this, she is talking about how she so doesn't want to go to a shelter. Well, what concerns me is that I left a comment five hours ago. Other people left comments eight hours ago, nine hours ago, eleven hours ago, twelve hours ago, and we haven't heard from her. So, another fire that erupted Carpenteria, I'm sorry if I've pronounced that wrong. Well, it's been evacuated. So, yeah, I do get upset when people leave these comments because there are so many people out there that, you know, when you think about it, California, do you know of any other state where the activism, where the people who are quote-unquote awake and they actually get off their butt and take action to fight these agendas that we're all suffering from? Do you know of any other state that has more activists fighting for all of us? And then you have these disgusting people who leave these horrible comments, not under Ortega Blue. Uh, I meant just under my videos, under Grind All 61's videos. I'm very concerned. I've gotten comments from people who live in, in, uh, in this area since I started po posting on these fires. Many said, I'm only miles away. My response, please keep us informed. Please keep us informed. Leave us a comment letting us know that you're all right. Have I heard from any of them? No. California fires. Two people burned in New Blaze. Wow. Where's this New Blaze? Oh, it's... Uh, It was off Highway 101. Every time I, oh my God, every time I go to an article, I see how extremely rapid is this fire moving because I just read one and it said 115,000 acres had been burned uh, in the Thomas fire. Now it's 141,000 burned, the Thomas fire. But we've got now six large wildfires in California. And you know what? When you take a look at the distances between these fires, are these uh, burning embers that blew from, I don't know, the Thomas fire or how about the Rye Fire, or the Creek Fire, or the Wilson Fire, or the Skirball Fire, or maybe 
uh, the lilac fire got burning embers from the Liberty fire. That's it. You have major fires erupting in residential areas in Southern California on their own. Is anybody talking about the causes? I will link below to everything. Um, a fire danger text alert sent to 12 million people. The largest ever alert to Californians. 12 million people. Fire danger text alert. And there's an awful lot of maps. Hey, the San Francisco Chronicle has given us an interactive map of the Southern California wildfires pushed by the Santa Ana winds. A ferocious Ventura County wildfire spread rapidly Tuesday, while another blaze burned near Los Angeles city limits. See the current hotspots and air quality. And you know what? They even uh, have been able to update this pretty quickly because, wow, they have the new brush fire outside of San Diego. That's right. Yep, I guess a burning ember just flew from the other fires and started this fire. Oh, and you can watch the video of this brush fire. And let's see, where was the interactive map? Okay, well, here's another map, the U.S. Wildfire Activity Public Information map. Oh, we've got a fire right outside of Santa Monica, but the Liberty Fire and the Lilac Fire, these are the fires outside of San Diego. And it is growing at a dangerous rate of spread with structures threatened. Five structures have already been destroyed and an unknown amount has been damaged. That's the Lilac Fire. How about the Liberty Fire? Uh, the fire is 220 acres and is 0% contained. Santa Monica. Active fire report. This is the skirball. It is 19% contained and it has burned 470 acres. The Rye Fire has burned 7,000 acres and it's 25% contained. The Creek Fire is I can't even see any information, and I'm not going to click on everything. You can. All the links are below. But the Thomas fire. Well, it still has 115,000 acres. It is 5% contained. I really suggest that any of you who are listening, you're going to throw down a comment talking about how happy you are that the libtards are burning, that the gay people are burning, the homos, that the rich people are burning. I really want you to think about that. Thinking. Because it does it reflects something very, very wrong with your mind. It is, it is absolutely a sign of mental illness, spiritual illness, soul sickness. Even the people that you hate so much that you seem happy that they're burning to death? Do you not think about all of the other people? Do you not think about all of the people who are out there actively fighting? 
Are you not worried about Grindall 61? Are you not worried about all of the people who are affected by this? And we do have an awful lot of people from California posting. I want to hear from Ortega Blue. If anybody knows what happened to Deborah Tavares, could you please leave a comment below? When you know the truth, and when you do have a brain that can critically think, and, and when it sees all of these fires just erupting all over the place in residential areas, and nobody's talking about the causes, and then you're not questioning how this could be happening, then that is a brain that is also uh, not working very well. They, you know, we have a military, <laughs> oh my God, I've said this so often, we've got a military that could send in so much help to put out these fires so quickly. Mainstream media has reported that, hey, seed the clouds and get rain. So why aren't they doing that? No. What they are reporting is that these, these fires may go on for weeks. For weeks. You just go to Drudge. Blaze may last for weeks. This is going to be hard, guys. All links are below.